Need your attention to these key points. This method only supports Windows and Mac computer. In order for this to work, both iOS device and computer must be on the same local network connection. Meaning we need to use the home network and enable the JIT server locally. For initial setup, you also need to connect your iOS device to the computer using a cable. So if you want to enable JIT in some gaming emulator or certain apps which requires JIT to run, then continue watching the video. The first step in enabling JIT in iOS 17 is to install the non-Microsoft versions of iTunes and iCloud. Visit the Side Store website, link in the description. Click on Get Started. Now just download the non-Microsoft version of iTunes and iCloud. If you have a Microsoft version installed already, just uninstall it and then install this version only. As you can see, it's getting downloaded. As mentioned before, make sure that your computer and your iOS device is connected to the same local network. Next up, launch the File Manager app, head over to the Download section, and double tap on the X file to install it. I will fast forward it to save some of our time. Once the installation is done, just launch the iTunes and now connect your iOS device to the computer using a cable. Next, click on Account option and then click on Authorization and then select Authorize this computer option. Enter your Apple ID or password and finally click on Authorize. Once you have successfully authorized, you should see a message somewhat like this. Next, click on this icon as shown on the video. Now make sure that this sync over Wi-Fi option is checked and enabled. Save the setting and then you can close iTunes. Similarly, just install the iCloud. After installation, you will get this dialog box asking to restart the computer. It's very mandatory to reboot your computer. Once the computer boots up, just enter your Apple ID and password. And then finally click on apply. You can now close iCloud as well. Next, we will require Python to run scripts. So head over to browser and type exactly what I am typing. All the links will be in descriptions. Download the Python for Windows. Make sure to download Python from its official website. Once the Python is downloaded. And then just double click on the file to install it. I already have it installed, so I am just updating the version. Make sure you check the box, which says, add Python to path. If you get an option to disable path length limit, make sure to disable it. Once done, from your keyboard, press the Windows logo and the letter R. Type CMD on this pop-up and press Enter. This will open a black box. Now just type PY and hit Enter. If it shows something like this, it indicates that Python has been installed successfully. Now that all the prerequisites are fulfilled. Next up, search for Windows PowerShell and click on Open. Make sure that both computer and iOS device are connected to the same Wi-Fi and also you have connected the iOS device to the computer using a cable. Here on the command box, type exactly what I am typing. PIP3, space, install, space, hyphen twice, upgrade, space, and type side JIT server, exactly the way it shows. The word side JIT server is case sensitive, so use uppercase and lowercase as typed here in the video. Press enter. Once the whole process is over, which may take around a minute to complete, it will appear something like this. Whenever you connect your iOS device to the computer using a cable, you should get a pop-up like this, make sure to always tap on the trust option. Whenever you get this pop-up. Next, search for Windows PowerShell and run it as an administrator. When setting up the side JIT server for the very first time, we have to run a command to pair our iOS device. So make sure it's connected to the computer using a cable before running this command. Type this command, which is sidejitserver.exe. Then give a space, then hyphen, and type the letter Y. And hit enter. Make sure to type the letters exactly the way it appears on this video. When you hit enter, you will see this pop up on your iOS device. Just tap on trust to pair the device. Next, it will ask if you want to continue. Just type Y and hit enter. As you can see, the SideJIT server have started. Now, we have to take note of two things here. First is the UDID number, which is the unique identifier number of your iOS device. And second, this IP address. These two elements are really important for setting up the shortcut command using the shortcut app in your iOS device. 
for enabling JIT in required apps like emulators. In just one single tap, and that too, wirelessly. In my case, I will open the Notepad app and just take note of the UDID number. Please do not try to copy using Control plus letter C, as it may terminate the SideJIT server. Also make sure this black window is not minimized or closed. Now let's move to the iOS device and launch the Safari app or any browser. Type exactly what I am typing, which is SideJIT server GitHub on the search results page. Click on this GitHub link as shown on the video, which says a JIT enabler for iOS 17. Next up, just scroll down and look for this hyperlink, highlighted in blue. But before that, make sure to install this shortcut app in your iOS device. Once installed successfully, just proceed to tap on this hyperlink, and it will open in the shortcut app, as shown. The name of the shortcut is, SideJIT. It's not done yet. Now, tap on, Setup Shortcut button. And on the next page, just type the UDID number, which we took a note of it, in that PowerShell black box. Please make no mistake when entering the UDID. If you are still with me, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And also I will leave all the required links in the description for your easy access. Once the UDID is entered, tap on next. Now enter that SideJIT server address here, this is required to run this shortcut without requiring the need to connect to the computer using a cable. So you can just do it wirelessly after the initial setup. One thing to note here, it's HTTP and not HTTPS, so be careful when entering the server address. So once the shortcut is added successfully, it will appear like this. Now all you need to do is tap on it to run the shortcut command. Next, tap on allow to connect to the SideJIT server. And next it will show you the list of all the apps which you have sideloaded or which requires and supports JIT to run. Say, I want to enable JIT in Dolphin OS app. Just tap on it and it will launch the Dolphin app. Next, tap on allow to enable notification. And simultaneously, you will see this notification. Stating that JIT is enabled for the target app. And this remain activated unless you close the app completely or terminate the SideJIT server. And when you refer to your computer, as you can see, it shows the name of the app that we have enabled, JIT, indicating that it's working. When you face any error also, it will be visible in this PowerShell black window. Now let's enable JIT in another app, let's enabled in this 3DS emulator app. As you can see, it launches the target app and JIT is enabled instantly. You can terminate and end the SideJIT server simply by pressing Ctrl and letter C from the keyboard. You can now close the PowerShell. If you want to reactivate the SideJIT server, just search for Microsoft PowerShell and run the same as administrator. As we have paired the device previously, this time, you do not need to connect the iOS device using a cable. You can do it wirelessly. To activate the server, just type SideJIT server dot exe and hit enter. The SideJIT server will start. And one thing to note is that you have to activate the server each time whenever you want to enable the JIT in any app. So this is it. Next if you want to play Wii games and GamesCube games in your iOS device using JIT, watch the next video.